Hi, my name is Eric Walker with RAFT, or Resource Area for Teaching. I'm going to share with you an activity we call the germinator, which is comparable to what many biology teachers use in growing a seedling inside of a plastic bag. The germinator has several advantages over the plastic bag method in that it doesn't allow any mold or condensation to grow in the plastic medium. Now let's review the materials to do the germinator. The germinator requires a few materials. Three of those materials are included in the kit. The first item that's included is a CD jewel case. The second item is a box that's wide enough along its diagonal to allow the CD jewel case to stand vertically. The kit also comes with a set of instructions that on the reverse side will contain two centimeter grids that are sized just big enough to fit inside of the CD where the notes would normally go. These grids have to be put onto a transparency that must be purchased separately and here's an example of what it would look like. And here's an example of one of the grids that's already pre-cut. So the activity will also require you to provide scissors, seeds that you choose to grow, and a tissue. With the pair of scissors, you're going to cut out the centimeter grid along the bolded lines which have already been pre-sized. Now the centimeter grid is very important not only because of the fact that you're going to be measuring the height over time, but you can compare and contrast different seeds if you grow different seeds in the container. Some seeds will grow at different rates, so the germination times will vary. So students can actually measure that by observing the growth over, say, a period of a week. They can compare germination times, and after the germination has occurred, they can measure the height. Or, alternatively, they can start two seeds at the same time that are exactly the same, and treat them with different types of water to see if that impacts the, the rate of growth. And here we have the cut out grid. After the transparency grid has been cut out, the next thing is to insert it into the CD jewel case, which I'm going to do by opening the CD jewel case and inserting the grid into the, sp the space where the notes of the CD would normally go. And the grid will be held in place by the little tabs that are on the sides of the jewel case, like so. Now that the CD jewel case has the transparency inserted into its door, we're going to fold a piece of tissue paper that is no wider than the width of the CD case. This is going to have to be done in an accordion fashion with an over-under type fold. Very simple accordion folds. You're going to pick up the CD case and you're going to place the tissue in the bottom half as so. So when I close the door, the tissue will be what we'll call the bottom of the CD. Now that we've prepared the CD jewel case with both the grid and the tissue, the next step is to add our seeds. In this case, I'm going to be using beets, and these happen to be very small, so we have to be careful not to let them roll around too much. Now, I'm going to go ahead and place them on top of the tissue, approximately equidistant. It doesn't have to be really precise as long as there's some space for the roots to move around and grow. Now, once they're placed on the tissue, the next step is to close the door and trap the seeds in place so that they do not fall down when I invert the CD case. Now that we've prepared all of the materials for the activity, the next step is to add water and allow our seeds time to grow. So what we're going to do is put the CD case with the seeds and grid and tissue. We're going to place them into the container so that they stand up and we're going to add just enough water to a height of approximately a centimeter and a half to two centimeters as so and what, what may be hard for you to see right now is that the 
capillary action of the, of the tissue is pulling the water all the way to the top. Now the entire tissue at this point has now become soaked. And this is what's going to water the seeds for us as we're waiting for the seeds to germinate. Here we have a completed germinator setup, and you can see that I have a seedling already sprouted in here. This, is, this happens to be beets, and I started these a few days ago, and they sprouted. It took about three days to germinate. Uh, this is about five days worth of growth, and you can see that I can measure, using the centimeter grid, the height of the plant. Uh, th this activity is also neat because as soon as the roots get into the water, I can remove the CD, study the roots, observe what they look like, and put the, the setup back into place. And it will continue to grow until it reaches the top of the CD case and the plant will come out and keep going.